Hey to you guys, welcome on in. I'm just going to do a little video here uh, on how to set up the FMC and the Boeing 737 by PMDG. I'm just going to show you how to set up for a flight using SimBrief. So on the left of the screen you will see our uh, SimBrief plan from Glasgow to Manchester. Okay, so uh, first things first, we are going to align the IRS. Uh, so we have uh, the IRS switches uh, in a line in the overhead panel. And we're going to go to pause in it. And we're going to set our reference airport so we can let the aircraft know where we are. So we are at Echo Golf at a box shop and we're going to put that in reference airport. And you can put in the gate, sometimes it'll not recognise it, but we're going to put it in. So we are at gate 19 currently. There we go. And we're going to go to page 2, and we're going to get the GPS from the left side. So GPS left, in the scratch pad, we're going to back, go back to the first page. And in the box section, the box underneath the set IRS positions, we're going to click the soft key to the right of that. And that will put in our IRS position. Right, okay, so we have our IRS position in. Uh, the next thing we are going to want to do is go to the route page. So we are currently uh, at uh, Glasgow, so that is going to be our origin. And this is going to be the, uh, the imported way we're going to show you today. So we're going to go from there. We've got our origin as Echo Golf Papa Fox Shop. And we're going to hit flight plan request and you're going to see i've got some uh, files here saved into the fmc so we have five flights and we are looking for the one going to manchester which is echo golf charlie charlie which is the top one we're going to select that and then down on the bottom right of the fmc we're going to hit select and you'll see that flight plan request is highlighted so we're going to wait until that loads in and it'll be about 15 seconds or so. And then down on the bottom left, we're going to see load. We're going to hit load. And it's up blinking. Give that a moment. And you're going to hit activate. Alright, so we've got that. So you also see that the execute button is now lit up. We're not going to do that yet. Actually going to do our departures and arrivals and check our legs. So we're going to go to departures. And we're going to scroll down. On our uh, sim briefing. And we're going to see our route in here. So you'll see the route in here. And you're going to see that we are going to be departing. On runway 5. So we're going to hit the depart button on the FMC and on the right hand side you'll have your runways. We're going to hit runway 5 and you will see in the sim briefing we're going to be taking the normal uh, standard in instrument departure. So we're going to look for that. So that is normal 1 Juliet that is showing us. We'll select that and that is our uh, departure. Now we're going to press the departure arrival button again on the FMC and next to Echo Golf Charlie Charlie we're going to hit arrivals and looking at the route in we're going to be arriving on 2-3 right so we are going to see if there is an ILS uh, arrival which there is we're going to select that and then it's going to give our uh, arrival stars and we want Lakey one mic so Lake one mic and there we go and we have that so we are gonna hit legs and we're gonna go through and we're gonna look for any discontinuities and we do have one so we're going to grab the uh, 
uh, part of the route just after, which is Charlie Fox Rock to the right. We're going to click on that, which is going to put it in the scratch pad. And then we're going to hit where the uh, discipline annuity is, and that's going to replace that. Okay, we're going to just make sure that there are no more discipline annuities, which there aren't. And we're going to hit execute. And there we go. That is our routing in the aircraft. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to init ref. And we are going to do a perf init request. Let's go highlight again. It'll take about 10 to 15 seconds for it to load. You can also do this all manually using the briefing. But if you have imported into the FMC uh, via some brief, you can do this all automatically. So hit load, and then there's just a few bits and pieces that you have to put in. So we'll hit execute. Here we go. It's going to tell us we've been sufficient with fuel, but that is because we haven't put our fuel in. When you put in your fuel in, go to menu. We'll do that now. Go to FS actions, go to fuel. And we are going to scroll up the briefing and we're looking for block fuel. And it's telling us we need 5,577 kilograms of fuel. So we're going to put that in. 5,577 kilograms. And that's going into the total. There we go. If we go back to init ref. We can do that request again and then just make sure that that is correct for this briefing. It's going to take a, about 10 seconds again. And we'll hit load. There we go. Right, so execute. Now we're going to get our cruise winds, which is up on the right hand side, top right hand side of the briefing. You will see it says average winds. And that is 244 degrees at 15 knots. So we're going to put that in to the scratch pad. 244, 15. And put that into cruise winds. Uh, we're also going to see the average uh, average temperatures. Which is showing plus 3. So it'll either be M in a, in a number. Or P. which is So M for minus P for plus. So our temperature shown is uh, minus 30 for the climb, but we're going to add 3 degrees plus. So minus uh, 30 plus 3 degrees is going to be minus 27. So it is a decrease in temperature, so minus 27. Uh, our transition altitude in the UK is going to be 6,000 feet. So we're going to put 6,000 feet. All right, there we go. Right, and then we can hit our N1 limits. And we're going to go to takeoff. Uh, now we are going to be uh, using a standard uh, flaps departure. So it's going to be flaps 5. Hit that. And then you'll uh, see the CG trim uh, hotkey with the percentage next to it. You're going to click on that and it's going to do it automatically for you. And it's going to put a number down the bottom in the scratch pad, which is 18.9. And we're going to hit that button again. And there we go, it's going to give our CGs and our trim. Uh, over on the right hand side, you'll see our V speeds. So again, they're all in there automatically. You can use a performance calculator to get that. But all you have to do is press the soft key beside each of them, and that's that done. Next, go back to legs, and we're going to go to root data, the soft key at the bottom right. And we're going to request our winds. You're going to press that, and it is going to highlight it again. And again, 10 to 15 seconds, it's going to load that. And there we go, hit load. And it's just going to improve your uh, performance uh, data doing this. So there we go. Hit OK, execute. 
Uh, next, we will go to destination, the destination button, and go to forecast. And we'll hit load there as well. And that will load in the descent forecast. Right, so on the briefing again, we're going to scroll down to weather. Scroll down to weather in the briefing. here somewhere I've maybe scroll past it no here we are here's the weather right so we know our Q&H for Glasgow is 1026 Manchester our uh, q and is also 1026 so we're gonna put that into the uh, uh, into the FMC and the ISA deviation Q and H, so that is one zero two six, and hit that in there and hit execute, and there we go. So there we go. That is all set up, pretty much, for your flight. And you can have a look through your route, hitting the route button, and you can check it against your routing and the top of the top of the briefing here just making sure that it matches so let's go up here Here we go. So you can just check to see that that routing is the same. So we are going via the Norbo uh, airway to T256 to L612 to Lakey to Lakey 1 Mike and then on to our runway. So it's all matching. Here we go. Right. Hope that explains things a bit for you. If you're new to the 737, we'll do another video at some point uh, and we'll enter all that information manually so you can do it either way. But hopefully you understood that all very well. Any questions, as I say, please feel free to ask. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.